Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin or Kate Sim here on YouTube and today, just, just ignore the dog noises in the background, okay? I have been waiting for him to stop barking and I actually just restarted this voiceover because he was barking. And I was like, I'll just start it over and I'll go lock him in my bedroom. He doesn't care. Any human, dog, anything that walks behind my apartment, absolute meltdown every time. And like, it's hard because I don't want to tell him to not bark because like, I'm a girl, a woman, if you will. And I live alone with a child. And so like, I want a dog that's going to bark at people and scare them into not wanting to come inside my home. However, there's like a limit, you know, like eventually you got to stop, right? Anyways, uh, this is our first ever Strangerville build. It is a saloon or a bar. I called it a saloon because it felt right. It's like an old Western style build. At the very, very, very beginning, for about two seconds, I had the inspiration image up on screen. If you just look up on Pinterest, Western saloon, you'll see it. <laughs> but right here, I'm struggling with the roof and I decide I'm gonna do this cute little bump out and then add a uh, half gabled roof just to kind of break it up because that angled intersection was just not doing it for me. And then it kept clipping. So I had to lift it a little higher just so that I would stop clipping. At the end, I really think it looks really nice though. Uh, so the inspiration for this build was that I wanted to have this like bar saloon area that was a little bit of just kind of like a little a little bit of a mess there's you know Strangerville is a questionable place right like things aren't really put together it's kind of old it's kind of westerny vibes I would say and so I wanted that to be the vibe inside the bar but also the owner of the bar is like a Strangerville conspiracy theorist, okay? He's convinced that something is going wrong here. There is some, something's not right. Some, the jig is up. He's, he's onto them, you know? And so this bar owner has a secret ladder in one of the bathroom stalls that leads up to his little lair, his, his, I, I want, don't want to call it an apartment because it's not an apartment, but he has a little ladder in one of the bathroom stalls that leads up to his little like lookout and his conspiracy theorist den, if you will. So that was really like the main inspiration for this entire build. I wanted the upstairs to be this like secret space that the owner of the bar goes to. And he just like sits there and listens to the radios. I need to sneeze. Hold on. So sorry, he like listens to the radio frequencies. He does all sorts of research and reading and he has all these newspapers and like all these containers of like toxic waste up there. And obviously at one point it was like a storage area for the bar. Cause that makes the most sense, obviously. But then he decided to convert it into like his little hideout. And yeah, so that's where we're going from here. I think the outside and the exterior of this build is so fun. I absolutely love it. Uh, the inspiration image did not have any railings or any um, fences or anything. So I want to keep it just like that. So <clears throat> that is what I did. And so there's kind of like, you know, anybody gets a little too tipsy, they are falling right off the edge, but it's fine. That's a them problem. It's an old place, you know, got to watch out for the danger. Uh, and then like the landscaping, I do at the very end, which is a theme for me. I always landscape at the end, but I do it at the very end and it really like pulled the whole thing together. The exterior of this build though is just so cool. There's something about it that I just love. Uh, it is only using Strangerville and base game, which feels like only the right thing to do when you're doing a bar in the middle of Strangerville. Uh, and this is also my first commercial build. I have never built a community space. I've never built a commercial space, if you will. I've only ever done residential. So to do something else is like, well, I guess I did the Copperdale Auditorium recently, but that was my other, that was my first first, but this is my first bar, my first build in Strangerville. And I feel like I nailed the vibes. Okay. I, that might be tooting my own horn and yeah, it probably is, but I don't mind because I think, I think I nailed it. I actually built this like sitting next to my daughter while she was on the phone with like my niece and my mom and my sister. And she was 
talking to them and they asked what what's mama doing and she goes oh she's just playing the sims they were like does she do anything else and they were like she goes no not really <laughs> it's like cool thanks uh so up here i used that like old linoleum looking floor plus like the metal corrugated wall from strangerville because once again it's like a secret little conspiracy theorist bunker hideout space when I first started this build, I did want it to be like an old Western theme. And I was debating, here you can see me, I start to place a ladder, it's real dark because my little silly brain didn't think like, hey, let's add some lights so you can actually see. Um, <clears throat> but originally I wanted to do like this Western saloon thing. However, make it like there was this like super fancy speakeasy downstairs, like an unexpected, like fancy speakeasy. I might still end up doing that in a different world or something, but it was it was a cool idea. But as soon as I saw that inspiration image of the two floors above, I was like, oh, I have to do that, obviously. Uh, also, everybody's favorite, a bookcase door. Here we go. See, look at me. I'm being smart all of a sudden. I'm like, yeah, I guess I should add some lights. So now you can see my beautiful bookcase door on the first floor. So that bathroom, it's like the people that are, you know, just visiting the bar. They're gonna walk into the bathroom and be like, oh, two stalls, nice. They're gonna go on the first one, everything's normal, normal toilet. Then you walk in the second one, you're like, what? There's like a random bookcase right here. That's a little weird, but like, whatever. And you just like leave and go back to the first stall where the toilet is, or you wait your turn for the toilet. Little do they know it's a bookcase store. Crazy, right? Would have never thunk it. Uh, the bathroom's actually kind of fun. It's one of my favorite spots in the build because of the fact that it has that like little secret lair in the back with the ladder leading upstairs. I don't know. I think it's so fun. And it's just such like a Strangerville vibe, you know, to just have this like conspiracy theory den. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I promise you it's not. Um, but yeah, I might still do a build where I have like a speakeasy style somewhere. At the moment, I'm not sure <clears throat> I thought it fit Strangerville, but I think this build is actually like more realistic and more practical. Um, maybe that would be like a fun restaurant build though, like a standard restaurant. You just go there during the day and you're like, oh, kind of like in Riverdale. You know, they have like the diner pops chocolate shop and then they go downstairs and it's like a crazy speakeasy in the basement um anyways <clears throat> that could be fun this is where i start to mess around with the bar obviously i want to use the strangerville bar and obviously i want to use strangerville bar back however at that angled wall it didn't really fit so i was like how do i make this bar feel like it belongs here especially the back of the bar because that like i wanted it to look like a built-in because it's supposed to. You can look at that and say it's supposed to be a built-in, but I couldn't figure out a, the right way to do it. Trying to add bookcases, trying to dig through debug. I just, I couldn't find anything that was really working. So what I decide to do in a second is I'm going to build little bump outs that kind of encase this back bar in a little bit more. But then I realized, hmm, I don't want like anybody to really have access to the back. I want it to feel like there's no access to it. So instead I end up putting those platforms down and those little bump outs I built and then I pull them out one tile each and I add doorways or archways. So they're kind of like a <clears throat> employee pass through if you will. So yes, any sim can go through them but it looks like they can't, if you know what I mean. So I had two archways, uh, one leading in and then one leading out to the back bar. I thought that was so cool because now it definitely gives you like a, this is for employees only kind of thing. I added like a cork board back there to feel more like employees only as well as I think trash cans. If you know, you're the bar, the bartender and you need to like go back and throw something away. Um, problem is it did force me to have to delete one of my big arched open windows. It's fine. I feel like it ends up looking fine uh, at the end. So I wasn't too upset about it. And then because a bar requires a TV, I thought this big angled wall was a good spot for it. <clears throat> I did size up this TV a little bit using the tool mod. And then I actually found this base game, like industrial looking cart, this thing right here. This thing is perfect for a stranger roll build. Am I right? Like, look at it. It's all clustered, cluttered up and like, it seems perfect. <clears throat> And then you can see me lining up all these chairs. I didn't want the chairs to match here. Why would they? We're in Strangerville, but they were all different wood tones at least, but they didn't match. Matching chairs would be silly here, you know? 
<clears throat> there are a couple different size tables. We have four bar stools at the bar, uh, and then it looks like I have three four tops and one six top. I also go through and I add a bunch of rugs, like dirty old looking rugs, but they all overlap. It's not really organized. It's kind of like dysfunctional a little bit. Oh, and I add this like retro jukebox, if you will. That felt very Strangerville to me too. Like Strangerville feels like it's stuck inside of a time capsule. You know what I mean? Like you go there and you're like, wow, this place has not been modernized. Like people are stuck. And that's just kind of what I wanted the vibe inside to be. So I did end up using this wall light from Strangerville. It looks like the front of a truck. I do change out that painting for the Strangerville clock. <clears throat> Uh, and then I go through and I find a bunch of debug stuff. So this is a sign also from Strangerville, obviously. And I put that on top of the building to be like the sign for the bar. And then I find another weird random one and I put it up above the window right there on that like flat wall. <clears throat> they are both two different signs. This one is just kind of like a random one. I'm wondering if maybe like upstairs used to be a different you know, business and now it's not because the guy here owns everything and just kind of like forced it to be his little secret lair. I don't know, uh, but I don't know. Let's all just imagine for a second that maybe that's exactly what happened. Anyways, <clears throat> you can see me start messing around outside with the trash cans and what I do end up doing, because I thought it was very fun, is I take this little trash can with the tool mod and I rotate it to be laying on the ground like someone knocked it over. Uh, so that does kind of, it took me a while. It takes me a hot second to figure it out. Okay, let's all just be patient while we watch me suffer through this, okay? I'm not great at the tool mod. And rotating with the axes is hard. Is that the right plural of axis? Axes? Axi? <laughs> no one's sure. Here I go, digging through. Oh, I forgot about these. Yes, those little, like, dirty, yucky spots that you have with Strangerville that, like, go all over the floor and the walls. I went ham with those. Downstairs I used the more red tone because it looked more like the wood tone. It actually matched the wood tone on the floor like perfectly. But then upstairs I ended up using green because you're in like the little Strangerville bunker and you have that old linoleum with a metal wall. So I like the green really felt right. Plus I like the... Con what is it called? Contamin contaminated waste or... I don't know. All that stuff is on there. But I put these little like wall decals everywhere <laughs> because it's strangerville it's not supposed to feel clean it's not supposed to feel like anybody is taking any care of this thing it is like old military people crazy strangerville like walkers of the night who knows uh but i also added a million and one posters in here which i thought was fun i do add a few i think into like the weird stall that's like pretending to be <laughs> a <laughs> bathroom you know, when I'm building it, like that, that thought process made a lot of sense. Also, given how weird Strangerville is, it probably also makes a lot of sense. But looking back and having to explain this out loud to you on a voiceover of like, yeah, I just made like a pretend bathroom with like a bookcase door and it leads up to a Strangerville bunker. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> This is when I go through debug for a while. I just wanted to find like the most random stuff. So I pile up these tires. I add like a bunch of wood um, like pieces over in the corner here. I add the bat leaning up against the wall above the wood like pieces right there. I end up adding another pile of like planks over by the, uh, what's it called? The, the light, the truck, front of the truck light. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't know. And I also put a potted plant inside of the <laughs> inside of the tires. Don't ask me why. I was just looking at it and I was like, yeah, that's it. That one right there. That's exactly what it's. Who, what? Nobody knows why I did that, but I did. It's Strangerville. It's not supposed to make sense. But, you know, the bat felt fitting for Strangerville. You gotta like fight off the weirdos, you know, like the ones that are like, you know, tripping out and like being weird around you gotta like fight them off so that felt like it was appropriate to put that there uh, maybe the bartender needs to like fight off the drunken weirdos also uh or like threaten them and make them leave if they're too drunk or they're asking too many questions you know and the guy upstate the owner is like if they ask you too many questions about the secret scientific scientific lounge like kick them out you know that's kind of the vibe i was getting uh, I go through and I mess around with wall um, decorations for a while inside. I wanted to use those little like flags that come with Strangerville. 
they look like they are like um i don't are they banners is that the word i'm looking for like military banners and i wanted to use that for a while but i wasn't able to so I couldn't get them to work. The colors are too vibrant for the theme I was going for in here. So I end up getting rid of them despite how long you see me mess with them. And I do end up changing it out to like movie posters, which honestly I feel like really work in this space. Uh, maybe they're like antique movies or something. I'm not sure, but I, I do end up changing them because I just couldn't get the vibe that I wanted. That's the cork board I was talking about. Feels like an employee area back there, you know? Uh, and oh, did I keep that up there? I guess I did. I put a little menu up there. That makes sense. Logically, I can see it. Uh, this is when I switched out to movie posters. And then I think we're pretty much done down here and we're going to end up going upstairs, which is going to be exciting and fun because upstairs is where all the magic happens, you know, <laughs> because we start going through every single StrangerVille item that you could even think of and we go crazy. Oh no, I add a bunch of neon lights to the bathroom. I do. I use, I think, every single neon light option that there is in this bathroom from base game and StrangerVille. I know we just got some with um, the high school years pack, but I obviously wasn't using that. And honestly, I built this before the high school years came out. I just haven't posted the speed build. I love this build. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this might be one of my favorite builds I've ever done. It was just so quirky and so fun. And I had such a fun time building it and I didn't expect it. You know, like I've never built in StrangerVille and to be honest, like the idea of playing in StrangerVille sounds like a task that I'm not really willing to do at the moment because it's just difficult because you have to do the whole like mother plant thing. But building this bar was so fun. And honestly, maybe I will do it now because then I can spend a lot of time in this bar because you have to go there a lot for all the people they have to talk to, to get through like the aspiration and everything. Uh, but now we're messing around in the bunker. So we add every single item from StrangerVille. <laughs> all the clutter, all the little storage things, the contaminated waste containers, the green little floor stains. We add the like radio computer desk station, that weird like testing of the mother plant table, a little bunker bed. There's notebooks everywhere that are open and being written in. There are documents and newspapers and all of this stuff. But I did also want to make it look like it was kind of like a former storage unit or a storage area for the um, bar as a whole. So I do end up adding like one, a bunch of these little containers of waste or whatever. Cont containment barrel. Is that what it's called? Containment barrel. So that doesn't really feel like the right word for it, but yeah, I do end up adding a lot of those. And there is this one debug item. Is it debug or is it just a sculpture? It might just be a sculpture from base game. That is, um, like a bunch of crates and some like sacks that look like they could be like potato sacks or like flower sacks. I don't know, but a bunch of those up there that maybe at one point, um, you know, there was crates full of alcohol or something and they just threw those up there um yeah I had a lot of fun I end up taking some of the like newspaper clutter on the ground and I put it down by the ladder because I wanted to put something in that weird angled corner because it felt like it needed it but I didn't want to do something like too small or I didn't want it to feel I don't know I just wanted to do something to make it like give you the hint that you need to go upstairs into the bunker to see like the full story, uh, especially if you like, you know, just downloaded this build and you didn't know what my thought process was. I kind of wanted it to feel like this person is like maybe going a little crazy. Maybe the town thinks they're going crazy and like obsessing over this conspiracy theory about the mother plant and everything and everyone else like what is he talking about like this guy is nuts so I did end up adding a couple things down here just to kind of give you that illusion um but that's other than landscaping where I do just like a ton of the uh cactuses and like dead looking bushes and um I had, end up adding some like flower boxes out by the front door but other than that there's nothing else that really goes on so I will probably leave you here oh I do end up adding one little small staircase right on the back right hand side of the this like front covered porch because if not you couldn't access the dumpster in the back or the trash cans in the back because there was no way to like walk back there because I ended up blocking it all with all this landscaping so 
that's the only other thing that I add that's like major. But I'm gonna let you all go here. I wanna make sure you can enjoy the end of this and I don't get cut off and have to like rush my way out of this one. So I hope you all enjoyed this build. If you do, please like this video. Comment down below if you think I should do that speakeasy idea, because I want to but I just need to know if you think it's a good idea as well. If you would be interested in like a build that was kind of like a secret speakeasy downstairs, you know, that I feel like that'd be so fun. Uh, but just let me know and we can work on that one later, but subscribe if you haven't already. So you, you don't miss out on the speakeasy build. I also have a million let's plays a million. I have two, I have two let's three, three let's plays going on right now. Wow. Look at me go. I have three let's plays going on. I have a high school let's play a Sims and Bloom legacy challenge and a not so very legacy challenge as well as I've been trying to post a bunch more speed builds. So I'm trying to be more consistent and active on here. It's very difficult given my uh, schedule in life, but that's all right. Uh, but this is also up on the gallery. My gallery ID is Kate Sim 14 K A I T S I M 14. I hope you all love this as much as I do and download it and enjoy it and get to play in it and maybe even create like the bar owner, you know, like your own little character to work in this space and live here quote unquote, live here. I know you can't really live here, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, I'm going to let you all go now. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, week, month, or year, and I will see you all next time. Bye.